a uh, few changes that uh, um, to IB will identify in terms of synthesis reactions, and here are some of the tougher ones to be able to identify, okay, is we've looked at when we put together two different atoms, okay, two different molecules. What we're going to be looking at now are, is what happens when we put together two different compounds, and this is where we might identify it incorrectly. But let's look at two very important types of synthesis reactions. One of them is a non-metal oxide combined with water produces an acid. Okay, so the non-metal combined with the sorry uh, with oxide. Then the other one is a metal combined with the oxide and water to produce a base. Okay, now bases. One thing to keep in mind. Most of them that we're going to be looking at are going to have the hydroxide um, polyatomic combined with the metal. In terms of the non-metal oxide combined with water to produce the acid, well, the acid that we're creating is what we call an oxy acid. Okay, and oxy acids are merely polyatomics. Okay, polyatomics, okay, um, that are that bind or, or are in combination with hydrogen, but this time we are treating the hydrogen as a cation, okay, meaning that it's going to have the, a positive charge. So let's look at uh, at an example. Here we have a metal oxide, okay, plus water. Real simple. We're going to take the metal and remember the base we said, the hydroxide. So we're going to combine this metal with hydroxide and we're going to get the formula NaOH. Okay, let's erase some of that. But remember that that's polyatomic. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to balance it. Okay, and we put the two there in front and the following compound is, is balanced. But now let's look at a non metal oxide, so a sulfur trioxide combined with water. And as we said, it produces an acid. More importantly, it produces what we call this oxy acid. And the oxy acid is the polyatomic combined with a hydrogen. So think about what polyatomic might come to mind when we're looking at sulfur trioxide. And if you said sulfate, you're correct. And the derivative of the, uh, the polyatomic with the hydrogen forms what we call here sulfuric acid. Okay, notice here the SO4, the sulfate, and we're looking at hydrogen, but we're treating hydrogen as if it is a cation. Okay, we're treating it as a metal. So let's write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction between the following compounds. Magnesium oxide plus water. So we're looking for oxide and water. And there's, there, those are some of our hints that we have one of these special types of synthesis reactions. So we know we're going to form a base. So this magnesium, okay, because we are going to form a base, and remember that bases have the OH. So this magnesium is going to combine with that OH to form magnesium hydroxide. Okay. Carbon dioxide. Okay. We have CO2 plus H2O. Remember now that we have a non-metal oxide. So a non-metal oxide forms an acid. Okay, what type of an acid? Acid. Well, we have an oxy acid. And remember, as we said, we think about polyatomics. Okay, so what polyatomic comes to mind when you see CO two? And if you said from CO two, if you're thinking carbonate, you're correct. Okay. Now this charge is going to tell us also how many hydrogens are present with it, and there it is. We are forming here what we call carbonic acid. If 
you have any questions, please come and see me and don't hesitate to, um, to send me an email.